John, finally back to, to games after a couple of weeks off. How's the training been after the players have had their break? It's been absolutely different class. I have to say that because we gave them we gave them the weekend off, and they've come back with a real freshness and a real appetite to go and work again. And um, it's our job. We've really worked hard and tried to capture our imagination and stimulate them with our training sessions. And the effort and the commitment that these guys have put in is absolutely, you know, it's no surprising, but it's a different class. So hopefully, as you did the scene against Ross County, a lot of hard work we've been doing on the training pitch, I'm starting to see it manifest itself in our performances. And um, hopefully that will be the case on Saturday. And not just against Ross County, you know, even previous, even in defeat, there's been the performances have been not too bad. But um, we needed that break. We've been asking boys to keep going back to the well. Uh, they've been out there playing with knocks and strains and we've asked them to keep going. Uh, so they needed that wee break and um, as I say, they've come back fresh. And hopefully we can take that into the performance on Saturday and make sure it's a cracking off again, cracker off again. In, in terms of team news, Richie Foden's still out and Graeme Shinney suspended. Gives you a wee, a wee choice to make in terms of captaincy. Yep, yep. Yeah, and it's going to be a difficult choice because I've got some good leaders in that dressing room but I'll probably end up giving it to Gary Warren and he uh, deserves that and he's the kind of guy that would probably have that great pride in leading the team out so um, that'll probably be my decision. Kyle Tremarco and Ross Draper are a bit ill going into the Ross County game, are they all fully, fully recovered again? Yep, fully recovered, the wee big was, bug was going about the, the club and um, you know the two of them are back training, training very well. Um, and. As you say, uh, Ross Draper will come into our thoughts for, for, for the start on 11 come Saturday. Uh, Danny Williams, you know, Polly, these guys. But um, looking forward to it, looking forward to the game against Aberdeen. They'll be hurting from their semi final defeat against St Johnston. Uh, I know how that feels. Derek still got aspirations to go and get that European spot, so have we. That's why we're in the top six. All credit to the players for doing that. We've had a remarkable season. A remarkable season, getting a National Cup final, uh, getting in the top six, already reaching the points tally that we've reached in last year. And uh, so we've got all to play for uh, in the remaining games. And as you say, after getting freshened up, then uh, looking forward to that. Is, is revenge maybe something on the mind after the Cup final? Well, I don't know what revenge, uh, the definition of revenge means, but if it means us picking up three points, beating Aberdeen on Saturday, then we'll take that. And it's important that we control our emotions and you know, go and play the game and go and play football. We've got great respect for Aberdeen. They're a wonderful side. They're a good, really good side. They've got great experience, um, good legs, good youth. They can score goals. And you know, some of the better players have had their good days being an Inverness player and Adam Rooney and Barry uh, Robson. Um, you know, so we'll have to watch Adam. You know, he's quite a prolific goal scorer, but it's a challenge that you have to be, have to uh, inspire you and stimulate you to say, I want that challenge. I want to be playing against these guys. But if we go and play and we we go and put into the game and get the freshness and the buzz and in which these guys have trained, then it'll be a game on. And uh, we've got, as I say, we've got our own aspirations, and that's to go and try and bring European football to. To Inverness, it'll be the first time in the history of the club that we've done that, so let's go and give it a right good go. You mentioned some, some good youth of Aberdeen, there's been some good news around the club of the youth of Inverness, Ryan Christie. Yep, Ryan Christie's now been called up to the Scotland under-19s by Ricky uh, uh, Sabriga and uh, John Collins for a, I think it's two or three days training camp next week. Um, so they've got a right good look at him. Uh, he won't let himself down because he's technically very good. He trains with the first team every day, never looks out of place. Uh, uh, and he's got a big, big future. So that's great for the club. That also for all the coaches that have you know, coached Ryan throughout the years, um, you know, played their part in turning them into that yeah, excellent footballer that now we're starting to get the benefit from. And um, I'll say that to him, just go and enjoy it. Go and be yourself and... Um, that's the environment and the aspirations that you have to have as a young footballer. I'm a great believer that if you're young enough, you're old enough. That's why he's always in and around about the first team now. And I did say, 
you know, about guys like that are sitting on the bench like Nick Ross and Polly and Danny Williams. If you're seeing it within coming in and saying, I'm wanting that jersey, that's what I'm on about, you know. Now what I'm asking these guys today is raise the bar. So that so that the competition for places is going up and up and up. Everyone benefits. They become better players, we become a better club, we become a better team. Uh, and uh, we're raising the bar. So that's good, and that's really good uh, for Inverness, and it's great recognition for Inverness. Uh, we can also uh, uh, we're producing young footballers, uh, and um, good friends with John Collins and Ricky. It'll be interesting the feedback uh, how we think he done over the over the two or three days training camp. Thanks for your time, John. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks very much.